You're listening to Weather with Enthusiasm. Wednesday evening, June 25th, 2024. For those of you that were following the forecast computer models this morning, the five forecast models that we went through, you might be surprised to hear that it was the final model that actually got it right, closest at least, within one degree. High temperature today in St. Louis, Missouri broke a record. That's something that's very hard to do in the summertime in St. Louis, but in June a little bit easier. From 1954, previous record set 1954, 102 degrees. Uh, that's the record yesterday, today, and tomorrow, 102. A uh, record was broken at Lambert International Airport. Temperature hit 103. We went through all those computer models. Three out of the five were forecasting a high of 100 degrees, and we had the North American Mesoscale model that was forecasting a high of 102. I think it was... I'm not sure about the, which one it was, 102, but the high-resolution rapid refresh was forecasting 103. The only thing to point out is that those five computer models, that was for University City, not for St. Louis. I didn't actually check for the official highs for St. Louis. But let's skip over to University City. High temperature there, according to the Windy.com weather station of University City, 105 degrees. So uh, very hot weather over there. One does have to question, however, the, the dew point sensor, at least the dew point sensor in that area, and probably the therm- thermometer as well. Uh, the dew points were generally, the National Weather Service tells us, upper 60s to low 70s. We saw two peaks in the St. Louis area in the heat today. One of them was when there was a lot of humidity, an enormous amount of humidity with temperatures in the mid-90s, producing heat indices of around 105 in Lambert International Airport. Heat index hit 107. That was in the late morning. But another peak occurred when the air dried out and then the temperatures went way up. Temperature went to 103 degrees with a heat index of 107. So there were two times today the heat index was 107 in St. Louis at Lambert International Airport. <clears throat> Chesterfield also, we have the temperature hit 100 degrees over there. A few other weather stations, we had temperatures going to the low hundreds. It was either St. Charles or Belleville. Temperature was only 98 in one of those places. When you go over <clears throat> to the windy.com weather stations, you'll see the temperature hit, they say 102 at Lambert, but it wasn't. It was really 102.9, which is registered as 103. (laughs) And then the dew points, they put up at 76 for University City, which is probably impossible to believe. So it, because it just wasn't that humid anyplace else, but you never know. Uh, Thunderstorms moved across the city later in the day, but uh, they did break a record for today. The heat ridge builds back into the region by Thursday already, but the surface winds are expected to be from the southeast. Now, all Chicagoans know that when you have southeasterly winds, it does not bring Chicago its warmest temperatures. But here's something that you may not have known. The reason why in Chicago, everyone knows that the southeast winds doesn't, is because of that lake component of the wind. The easterly component from that southeast breeze brings in cooler air off the lake. But in St. Louis also, southeasterly winds does not bring the warmest temperatures into St. Louis. Therefore, the National Weather Service mentions this explicitly, that although the ridge, this that's the dome of heat, in the upper atmosphere builds right back in for Thursday, but the surface winds do not support extreme heat. Therefore, high temperatures only in the lower or mid-90s. Headed into the weekend, surface winds do become more southerly by Shabbos, by Saturday. Therefore, forecasts are calling for... I didn't check what the forecasts are calling for, but according to the uh, uh, weather, uh, the um, synoptic weather setup, one would expect temperatures to be in the mid-90s uh, or maybe even higher. And there's also the chance for thunderstorms, which could mess up the entire forecast. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful night.